Howdy, folks. I'm Charbroiled Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. I was going to be Disaster Master Brian, but it's too hot for that. Our first letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Forcing My Father to Pay Child Support? My father is a jerk. When he got my mother pregnant, he wanted her to quit her job and just stay home and be a good little wife and mother. He is very well off due to a trust fund and he doesn't really need to work. My mother refused and divorced him. Because of the prenup, she got very little after he moved back to Europe. His parents never knew about me and my mother had a good profession and I never really wanted for anything. My grandmother and grandfather, her mom and dad, were awesome, and I got to spend my summers exploring the wilds of western Canada with them. My father never paid child support as he should have. Like I said, it didn't really matter. My mom makes good money, and she gave me a great childhood. So on to the point of this post. I'm a 28-year-old female, and I'm getting married. I met the love of my life, a 31-year-old male, at university and we've been together for 8 years. He is a wonderful person and he really is my lobster. Sorry, friends reference. His father is from the same city as my father and they are a huge rambunctious bunch. Because of a lot of intermingled business and personal relationships, my parental grandparents found out about my impending wedding and me, I suppose. They have been in contact with me and want to come to Canada to meet me and my fiancé, who I guess is a grandson of an acquaintance of theirs. Small world. When they found out that my father had basically abandoned me to fend for myself in this world, this is honestly how they see it. They were mad to say the least. It's very funny because we are decidedly upper middle class here. So long story short, they had their lawyer calculate out the amount of child support that my father should have paid with interest and the cost of my post-secondary education. They then gave it to me as a gift. What I didn't know was that this came out of my father's yearly draw to his trust fund. He is furious because it is obviously a sizable amount and it will very much affect his finances for at least the next two years. He may need to gasp get a job oh no like everyone else he has been contacting me and telling me that his current wife and children will be negatively affected if i don't give him the money back i don't really need it and i guess i'm entitled to it and i'm getting a trust fund now as well but i really want to pay off any debt that my mother may have and make sure that when she retires she can do whatever she wants and whatever suits her fancy and i'm not giving it back so am I a jerk? Edit to answer some common questions. My half-siblings will not really be affected. They have trust funds set up already and their tuitions and fees are covered. My grandparents' family set these up back when the kid is born. One of the reasons my father is upset is because he didn't bother to tell his parents about me and they did not set this up. They have since taken a good chunk of his trust fund and used it to set up mine. Realistically, the principal being separated 28 years ago would have left them in the exact same position. My mom was working on getting her PhD so she could help kids with a certain condition. That is what he wanted her to walk away from. My grandparents have sent me pictures of the family there. The coolest thing is that my grandfather looks like the granddad from The Parent Trap. My mom never remarried, but she has a special friend since I was five. He is amazing and taught me to swear in Colombian Spanish. Edit number two. I just had lunch with my mom. Apparently she has no debt, like at all. I guess she did literally write the book about the treatment for the kids that she works with, so she is doing okay for herself. I never really thought about it. We decided that what would be best is to set up a scholarship for people who want to go into her field of study. Since I am now a trust fundian, I can now afford to do this. I am, however, going to book her and her friend a trip after my wedding, and I'm going to go pay off my car. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Yeah, I mean, this is not his money, right? If if they have the legal means to take the money away from him, then it isn't his money, right? It just is money that's given to him uh, by them, right? And so it's their choice and their decision what they want to do with the money. So OP, I would not lose any sleep about this. If they're well enough, off enough to make sure that all of the grandkids and everything have 
you know, certain amounts of money set up, then they're not going to ever let your father probably go into uh, poverty here, right? So he things might be hard and tight on him and maybe he can't afford to, you know, live life without working. But, you know, that's, uh, that's most people. <laughs> so yeah, anyhow, take care and good luck. Not the jerk, he should have been paying all along and your grandparents sound awesome. And OP replies, they are coming over next week and I'm looking forward to meeting them. They are coming to my wedding. They are super embarrassed that they weren't there for me growing up. Totally not their fault, but I think embarrassment is part of being British. All right, folks, our next letter is actually an update and uh, it's to yesterday's Am I a Jerk for changing the locks back after my wife changed them. This update does involve childhood cancer, so if you don't want to hear some of that, then uh, you might want to skip forward. Update. Sorry, I haven't been able to reply for the past couple of hours. I have been busy. I talked to my mom again and let her know that my sister isn't allowed over without me home. I asked a friend who is a maid to come and deep clean our home. So if slash when my wife comes back, the home will be clean. The last thing is that my mom asked me to help cover my sister's cheer. She is on track for a scholarship. I told my mom that I would pay half if my wife's things were returned. If not, the money was going to be used to replace the stolen items. Also, my sister was invited to homecoming. She wanted me to buy her a dress. I told her no for not following our home rules and the money I saved for the dress is going to pay for the maid. I did replace the locks again and I'm planning a romantic dinner that I will make and clean up after. I heard a lot about the cinnamon rolls. Someone on here gave me the idea to make them and I am for a dessert. Update, my sister and mom left a few minutes ago. My sister had a bag of my wife's things. More than I thought was gone. Most of the items are in poor shape. The big thing is that she had my wife's grandmother's ring and I thought it was in a safe. I had no idea it was gone. My sister said that she found it on my wife's nightstand during the party. She forgot that she had it when she left our home. The ring isn't very valuable, it's just sentimental. I told my mom who the ring belonged to and my mom lost it. My sister is now grounded. Last update tonight, my wife is coming home and I'm staying at a friend's house until we can work some stuff out. I already stated this, but I did put the locks back that my wife bought. My family doesn't have that key. Early morning update. My mom called my wife last night and asked what my sister can do to fix slash replace the damaged items. My wife said, have her meet me every morning at 5 a.m. I decided to tag along and see what my wife had planned, trying to support her in whatever punishment she decides to do. You know the cinnamon rolls. My wife's co-worker's four-year-old is in the final stages of cancer. My wife's plan is for my sister and her to prepare breakfast, get the other kids up and ready for the day, start laundry, basic cleanup, so her co-worker and his wife can spend as much time as he can with the sick child before work. My sister was silent the whole time coming back home. I can tell it really hit her that her life really isn't hard, even being grounded. Last and final post, my wife has given me a second chance as long as I follow her list of rules. One, for a while, no family at our home. Two, no family borrowing our things. Three, no one is allowed a key. Four, I help with the chores around the house, including cooking meals. You should have been doing that already. Yeah. What? Last, my wife is okay with me seeing my sister, but asked that we all go to counseling to understand why my sister is targeting her. My wife said all of this has been really hard and she doesn't want to cause more issues, but she just doesn't trust my sister and can't have her using our things. All right, folks, what do you think of that update? Uh, I mean, it's good that things are moving in the right direction, but I still feel so bad for OP's poor wife. Yeah, I mean, here she is, has this big plan to help this family in need. Mm -hmm. And all this time is like, all I can say is like, how did he like not participate sooner? How was mm -hmm. he not helping? And I know like in the last letter, he's like, oh, my lo wife loves helping and serving people. Mm -hmm. And here she is a literal saint. Mm -hmm. And 
<laughs> we can see what finally pushed her to the edge, and mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that's not very good. She probably deserves better, but hopefully he's going to do better yeah, for her. Yeah, hopefully he starts finally pulling his weight, because it sounds like he hasn't been. Yeah. It sounds like she's been dealing with a lot of stuff for so long. Mm -hmm. And all the stuff, the sister just like kept taking all her stuff. Yeah. Like, all bag full of mm -hmm. stuff. And it wasn't even a small amount of stuff, too. So this is just ridiculous. I feel bad for poor OP's wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she didn't deserve any of this. Mm -mm. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I have some tea here. Amber has tea as well, but it's on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. And does Amber, do you, Amber, have... A joke for us. Why wasn't the librarian concerned about being late? Because they burnt the library down and so they no. don't have a job anymore. Because they know how to book it. <laughs> Just a little Larson humor for us folks. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that was inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry, folks. I'm terrible. I deserve to be punished. I'll have an apology letter going out soon. <laughs> Thank you for the joke, Amber. And I have Mega Mint Tea. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a like. And if you didn't, consider giving it a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye!